Hey guys, what's going on? The best one, eh? So I just got done uh, filming a clip for a video that I uh, am working on. You probably would have saw that by now. So, but I actually want to go back. I want to go back the other way. Um, I don't want to go this way. Just need to climb this here. Alrighty. Come on, girl. There you go. I didn't drop nothing, right? My trunk is closed, I think. I think I closed it. I should have. I'm gonna have to angle this back a little more. I don't know, hopefully it's fine. I didn't even check it. I'm such a slacker. So, uh, yeah guys. I still got a lot of, uh, I still got a lot of little tidbits that I gotta do. Working on, I'm actually working on painting the doors in the house. I already sanded down a lot of the door frames and painted those white. And then now I'm sanding down the doors and painting the doors white. And my wife says she really likes them and I like them. I'm actually surprised it came out as nice as they did. So I just took a, I woke up early today. I woke up like eight o'clock for some odd reason. I know a lot of you guys are early risers. Um, I don't know if I could really say that I am at least not lately because I've been staying up late I've been trying to do a lot of this stuff and get get some of this stuff done and um, yeah, You know I just been just ended up falling asleep late like 1 2 in the morning, you know, so That kind of, of course doesn't make it very easy so but I ended up waking up early today and I didn't end up falling back asleep because I didn't want to fall back asleep because I was like, you know what, I'll fall back asleep and next thing you know, it'll be like 11. So I said, you know what, let me uh, let's start sanding some doors. And then I said, you know what, let me go out and finish filming that vlog so that you guys can check that out. So I, I did that and I'm happy I did that. And now I am out shooting another vlog, which is... Uh, a one two piece right we'll aim this session up a little bit which is going to be a one a one a two camera two two view camera yeah if i can ever get that out one of these days right one of these days i can get that out for you guys so i found my my uh earplugs i'm not wearing them right now but i found them and also found my spare set but i have another spare set to the spare set but i haven't i haven't found that yet that's somewhere I don't, I don't know where that's at you know so our house is kind of in shambles because we had to move everything out of upstairs down into the garage down into the family room and into the dining room so and then i'm uh you know i'm doing all this painting and sanding and i'm doing the, the base molding and the door casings and i'm doing all of it myself pretty much so i'm just kind of taking my time and you know we're getting back there and my wife is like oh i don't want to bring those couches back upstairs i'm like wait what so i don't know if she goes out and buys new couches that means i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with these old couches which means i gotta put them up for sale so uh you know look at that horse i usually see that guy out there beautiful horse ain't he just beautiful man i usually see him out there or her i think it's a he i don't know so uh yeah just out for a little stroll enjoying enjoying the ride a little jogger coming up here enjoying the ride a nice day beautiful good times I haven't been out riding much so um, I figured let me get out for a few minutes even if it's for 30 minutes I already been, I only been out 17 minutes so far so I have no I haven't been out that long and uh, yeah, I figure, you know what, let me enjoy the journey a little bit. I'm thinking about buying the little stupid GoPro mic adapter only because I think it'll make it a little easier for vlogging when you're on trips. Like I won't have to, I won't have to, um, I won't have to press I won't have to turn on the separate microphone and then the GoPro. It'll make that just a little bit easier. 
you know I'm a little against GoPro doing that making you have to buy this external mic piece and it's only available for them this proprietary bull crap you know that that's it's just garbage it sucks you know because they don't want another company to out there to make a better product or version of that product than they than they actually make and um you know i just think that's bad that's just bad bad business and it, and it sucks man you know they should definitely i don't think they should should do uh things like that and and that's the whole reason why and that's another part of the reason why i use an external mic because an external mic has worked out really good for me for a long time and i haven't had much if any issues recording that way but if you're on a trip i could see you know it would be a little bit of a pain in the butt cheeks so i guess it kind of you know we're gonna make it right so i guess it kind of depends on um just navigate this here So I guess it kind of depends on what your preferences are, but I think that would just be a little bit of a ease of use for me. Now, mind you, I don't really take that many motorcycle trips. I haven't even taken one this year. Did I take one last year? Well, I went to America last year. So, uh, you know, I think yeah it would make it a little bit easier and which would be nice so maybe it's something that I think I'll look into you know the only the only only issue I see with that it's a $50 piece that's gonna be sitting there and I won't be really using it so it's something to consider so I've been watching uh, Man, I watched a video again by Christopher David Lawson. Really nice video where he was riding out in uh, out there in Sturgis. And shoot, man, the, the, the dang napping video escapes me. Um, oh my God, where was he riding again? I'll, I'll type it in the screen. But where he was riding totally escapes me right now. I can't remember. Where was he riding? Oh my god. Anyway, I'll I'll put the link down in the description, hopefully if I can remember that. But um yeah, it was a really cool vid. And uh I enjoyed checking that out. You know that, that that's a trip. You know, I think I said it in the last video. That's a trip that I definitely wouldn't mind taking. I, I would not mind getting to take that trip. That would be just awesome, man. It's a long ride, I know. But, man, it, it would be awesome to get to take that trip out there. Take that ride. So. You know, I think it would be really nice if I could get to take a, a motorcycle trip somewhere it's something i feel like my, i feel like my soul needs that you know my soul is like just itching for a nice motorcycle trip you know how often do we get to take a week and and spend that on a motorcycle you know that you could just ride around at your own whim just ride around and just you know see places and be like oh you know i think i'm gonna stop here or I think I'm gonna stop there. You know, just kind of, just ride. Man, I miss that. I really, really miss that. I sure wouldn't mind doing that again. That was just great. Just get out and just cruise. I really am. I really am Jones and ain't I? <laughs> Oh boy, you know, I think no matter what you own or you, uh, you 
drive, man. You should you should take a trip somewhere, man. Take a break and see some different places. We live in such a, a beautiful country. And I mean, if you're fortunate enough and able to, to even travel to other countries, then why not, right? Travel and see those countries and ride around. So, actually, speaking of which, I, I got so tired of doing the doors, I told my wife, I was like, hey, how about we take our uh, drive up to uh, Quabbin Reservoir, pack the kids up, and they're like, oh, I want to do something, I want to go somewhere. And I kind of wanted to get them off of the computers for a little bit, you know, because they were kind of just sitting on those damn things, and and it was like, you know what, they need to, they got to do something, man. I was like, let me, let's take a ride, you know, so we took a ride up there. Brought them up to the Quabbin Reservoir, let them see the reservoir, and then after that, uh, we, were, we were supposed to head home, but my wife was like, oh, well, you know, if we want, if we're tired, we can get a, we can just get a room and, and chill and relax. So, what I did was, I said, you know what, all right, let me see where we're going to go from here, and, um, <clears throat> you know, figure out a place where we could do dinner. So we decided that we would go up to Brattleboro, Vermont, which for a little place in Vermont, has, sure has a lot of history. Um, it sure has a lot of, it sure has a lot of history. It sure has a lot of history there and I, I was I was kind of shocked and uh, I don't think it was called Brattleboro but they ended up naming it that after uh, after a colonel uh, colonel I believe his name was Brattleboro and uh, and he actually never been there but they named the town after him so yeah anyway I, I, I know there's a lot more history to it and I was just kind of getting the, trying to get the little basic synapse of it, of what it was about. Ah, this real shock sucks. So I was just trying to get the basic history of what the deal was there. But anyhow, we stayed there for the night. Uh, stayed at a Comfort Inn, which was pretty nice. I logged on to the website of the Comfort Inn, and I was like, hey, looking around and uh, and I was like man I'm looking for some rooms I was looking on Google Maps I typed in hotels looking for some rooms and everybody wanted like 120 130 I'm like god darn it man like how can it be that much for a room that's a a, a single bed it's not even a, 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 a you know it's not even a double it's just a single I was like man that's just crazy so I managed to find a comfort in room and then when I looked they said if you are a comfort in member what they'll do is they give you a discount and I was like wait what they're gonna give you a discount I was like oh shoot that's cool then I remembered that when we had the West Virginia meetup I had I had signed up so yeah I was a member so I thought I was like, man, I was like, okay, I am a member. I was like, let me let me jump in on here, jump in on this. So um, actually, I'll go straight. So we got the room. They gave me 20 bucks off being a member because this was the second time I had stayed with them for uh, building points by you know, every time you reserve when you're logged in but I got 20% off man so it ended up being a hundred bucks for the night you know double double uh, full-size beds and there was five of us so it, it worked out really good you know I was really happy with that and um, yeah we had a great time we had a great time there so the next day we woke up and we're like I was like oh you know what let me take them on a ferry ride we could make a ride through Vermont on up towards uh, Fort Ticonderoga Fort Ticonderoga that's upper up above Lake George so I was like you know what we could take a ride up there we can 
we could take the ferry across we take the ferry across and when we go across you know the kids would enjoy the ferry ride you know and i thought that would be cool so but on the way i saw a covered i saw there were like a quite a few covered bridges so i was like oh you know what maybe we could we could do this first we could check out these uh covered bridges look at these corn on the left all of this is corn look at that wow that's crazy holy crap so i figured you know what let me uh take them there we could do that we could check out the covered bridge so we did that they really really enjoyed that i was surprised And after that, we headed on up through Vermont, which was really nice. They had some really nice roads. But when I got back, I had to wash my underside of my car. There's a whole bunch of just white, like sand or stuff under there. I don't know, dirt, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I had to rinse my car off. So yeah, we took that ride. Damn, what's up with this road? Yeah, so we took that ride. We enjoyed going through Vermont. We got up there, it got close to the ferry, and then I realized, I was like, holy crap, the ferry's closed. Dang nab and COVID strikes again. <laughs> so we had to go a little further north, cross the bridge, and then make our way down through Lake George. So it was a nice little trip, um, two days, uh, covered about 500 miles, so, which was nice, really nice, uh, nice journey, nice ride. And we had fun, man. You know, I was a little tired though from just from that day of, of driving I don't know man I got to Lake George and I was just tired bro if I was on a bike I probably would have I probably would have just looked to get a room again spent the night slept and then the next day I wake up and you know we just go ahead and continue with the ride so Yeah, but it was nice to get away, let the kids get a little different scenery. And then, of course, you know, when my daughter wakes up the next day after we get back, she's like, oh, Daddy, um, what are we going to do today? I was like, girl, <laughs> sand doors. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's what I have for you for today's video. Probably a little on the long side, but you get the idea. And I thank you all for watching. And I will be in touch <laughs> later. Oof.